I have no idea why you people want me to talk about Tom McDonald. He's not a criminal. Are you recommending him because you like him? First of all, his name is Tom McDonald's. I can't take that name seriously. McDonald's? As in the fast food chain that sells plastic to diabetic children? That'd be like if my name was Jeff Burger King, or Carl Jr., or Tim Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers. These aren't good rap names. He should rename himself Big Bird or Cock Navius. This dude is goofy. I was gonna say he looks like Larry Bird, but I don't want to disrespect a legend like that. Where is he from? Canada? That makes sense. Us Americans would never let this happen. By the way, naming yourself after McDonald's is cultural appropriation. That's an American fast food chain. Now, I'm not trying to judge a book by its cover, but sometimes that's my only option since I can't read. In other words, I'm gonna listen to his music and see if it's terrible. Let's start with this smash hit, Hell of It. I remember seeing ads for this video on Facebook. They try to tell me I should dumb it down, say you're too conscious for the fans to feel you. Try to tell me I should calm it down, if you fight the system, they gon' try to kill you. They try to tell me that I'm too sad and it isn't healthy, I knew that. I'm just doing me and if you don't agree and I don't owe you, then that is too bad. I fired shots at all the mumble rappers and... Now the song Hell of It, he starts off by saying, people want me to dumb it down so it's easier to understand. And believe me, your music is not that hard to follow. It's not like you're explaining the quadratic formula. You're just talking about how you hate mumble rappers and you're better than them. You're better than all of us, Tom. I don't really like it and I'll tell you why. There's no twerking, there's no drugs, there's no violence. He's not wearing any gold chains. In fact, he's rapping about how he's against all those things. The next song he made is called White Boy. Now Anthony Fantano gave this song the honor of being the worst song of the 2010s, but he says a lot of things. I cannot feel guilty for that I didn't do, but I can understand the reasons why you think that I should. Yeah, I'm white, but I never put your neck in no noose, and I never burnt a class or hit my face with a hood. I cannot feel guilty for things that I didn't do. Yes, you should, Tom. How dare you not feel guilty? I mean, you could just laugh at the blue-haired people trying to make you feel bad about yourself, but you're letting them know that you're bothered, which it's fine. It's fine to be bothered. Pretty much in this song, he's talking about how hard it is being a white rapper, people accusing him of appropriation or being racist, and I'm not accusing him of that. I don't think this song is offensive or anything, but there is a rapper named Ritz that made a song called White Rapper, and he approached his criticism with masculinity, showing people that he's dedicated his whole life to hip-hop. Tom McDonald, on the other hand, used to be a wrestler, and he started off making rock music. So I'm about to give Tom a little credit, he has like 10 albums and 100 music videos, and they all have over a million views. And Tom usually uses ads to promote his music, like he's probably spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on ads. So this dude has money from something besides music, because apparently his net worth is $11 million. Maybe there's a billionaire out there who really likes him, or maybe he saved that money from his time with the Celtics. Now he has a song called Buttholes, and based on the title, I feel like this is something I can identify with. I don't know why he's wearing pink, he should be wearing brown, and what he's saying is buttholes are like opinions, everyone has one that they cover up. I think a better punchline is assholes are like opinions, some people will pay money to get a closer look at them. In this song he says that 9-11 is an inside job, spoiler alert, it wasn't, that abortion should be illegal. And abortions are murder, so they should just be illegal. And he has another anti-abortion song. It's right. Let's talk about abortion. Sorry, tell me how this works. Bacteria is life on Mars, but a heartbeat isn't life on Earth. Weird. So Tom McDonald is really against abortion. Now, some of y'all don't know this, but making something illegal doesn't stop people from doing it. Because drugs are illegal, and people still do that. And God knows, if abortion is illegal, then I'ma be in my garage with the crab legs doing two-for-one deals. That's a joke, by the way. I do want to open up an abortion clinic. All the doctors are going to be dwarves. There's going to be arcade games. 
Now, if you're thinking about getting an abortion, consider this. Your kid could grow up to be the next R. Kelly, Bill Cosby, or even Tom McDonald's. No, but for real, I think everybody is entitled to an opinion. I understand Tom is trying to provoke woke people, and I'm okay with that. I just don't like his music so far, but I can see why some people do like it. Now, this song, Bad News, is alright, I guess, and let me just clarify again, I don't have anything against Tom McDonald. There is one weird thing I noticed about him. His girlfriend is Nova Rockefeller, and she writes a lot of his music. Now, he has a song called Church where he talks about Christianity, and it has Nova in it praying. And guess what? Nova Rockefeller is an atheist. Yeah, she even said so in a song. Now, it's not that I have anything against Christians or atheists, it's just seeing an atheist make a Christian rock song makes me feel like they're just trying to capitalize off a group of people. Like that one South Park episode where Cartman creates a Christian rock band. They're religious hustlers, using religion for profit, kinda like those super preachers that have their own airplanes. One more song by Tom. It's called a Deer Slim, I think. So Tom McDonald spent $100,000 on a beat created by Eminem. And in the music video, he's recreating elements of Stan. And I'm still wondering how Tom McDonald has so much money. Because 100 k is a lot of money to piss away. Me right now. Help me figure this out. I'm an independent rapper, and I spent 100 grand to get a beat from Eminem. I made a song with the beat and released a music video that's got 3 million views in the last two days. Everybody thought I was going to diss him, but I made a song paying homage to the man who inspired me to be a rapper. I don't know if they're mad because I can spend 100 grand, or they think I'm clout chasing, or they're bummed I got a beat from M, or they're just jealous it's been so successful. Either way, the internet is mad. Why? Because you're trash, Tom McDonald. Okay, I'm- And I'm sure Eminem is never going to sell a beat again. The beat is good, though. Anywho, Tom McDonald's music has inspired me to do drugs, have unprotected sex, and perform abortions. After listening to like 15 of his songs, I'd recommend his music to older people with more conservative views, like the type of person that doesn't like modern hip-hop and hates how politically correct people are. If Ben Shapiro decided to become a rapper, he'd be Tom McDonald. He kind of reminds me of Hobson, especially when he makes posts like this, saying stuff like, I'm better than other rappers because I rap about positive things. There are plenty of rappers with positive messages like Outkast, Macklemore, and Wiz Khalifa, and guns, drugs, Satan, and sex aren't exclusive to hip hop. I mean, Johnny Cash used to sing about killing people. That's great. Grammys are next. But back to my main man, Tom. He has the ambition to get a Grammy in the future, which doesn't make any sense. I thought he was anti-establishment. I thought he was against the men. He seems really bothered that the media is ignoring him. And I'll put it like this, the media ignores a lot of people and you shouldn't care what they think. Second off, I thought you hated the media because they spread propaganda to the kids. And third, the media does talk about you. Like, the Rolling Stones and Fox News have both covered Tom McDonald. That's more than most people making music. You should just appreciate that you have a strong, loyal fan base that loves your music. Don't be bitter. I think this dude wants haters or pretends that he's like the most hated rapper ever. And to be the most hated rapper ever, you have to be loved first. Like Chris Brown or R. Kelly. Shout out to my main man Millie for making this thumbnail. I'm out. For white zers. And I mean, does it have to be white? There are so many amazing colors and shades that aren't included. Could we relabel the song Multicolored Persons Whose Gender Span the Entire Spectrum? If you like what I have to say, I love you so much. And if you disagree with literally anything I have to say, even just a little bit, I hate you, burning hell. Peace, love, and tolerance.